Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got Beth and we've got Emma. But don't just sit there, my puppets. Come on, let's get busy. What's in Granny Murray's shelves today? Cushions. Well done, girls. One for Beth. And one for Emma, but you sit down here. Sands of the sea, bobbing up and down like this. Sailing the ocean, bobbing up and down like this. They may build the ships, my lad, bobbing up and down like this. But you can't beat the boys of the old brigade, bobbing up and down like this. Hey, well done, that was good, wasn't it? Now, we've got Beth and we've got Emma. But someone's missing from home today. Oh, not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? Whose legs are those coming down the steps? Oh, yes, it's Lisa with Tina. Hello there. <laughs> Tina. <laughs> But now you're here, Lisa, we'll do something new. Why don't you all dress Claude up as Mr Cushion? Oh, not like Raymond's Mr Cushion. Oh, the very one. I got the idea when I saw Raymond as Mr Cushion at Lisa's nursery. Oh, that's my boy. <laughs> Come on, let's bob over to the cheers. Oh. Boing, 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 boing. <laughs> oh, you must be awful proud of Raymond doing all these characters to make the children laugh. Trouble is, Raymond's got his proper job on the train and I've got my proper job driving the taxi. It doesn't leave us much time. Well, I should try to order... Today, for example, Raymond will be rushing to and fro between the station and the taxi garage between shifts. Well, why don't you meet for... Also that Mickey John can make a video of him performing as Mr Cushion, especially for the children at the nursery. Why don't busy, you and busy, Raymond... Busy, busy, oh. I mean, as soon as they oh, can... Stop, then... Tina, stop! Stop! I can't stop! There is so much to do! Well, sometimes you just need to stop and listen. Listen? Well, I would if I had the time. Well, you've got time for a wee look at Claude, haven't you? <laughs> Come on! Oh, oh, my goodness! Oh, Claude, you make a Mom, great Mr Cushions! Mom, <laughs> this is for you. Oh, what is it, Lisa? Oh, look, Granny Murray. Oh. It's a picture of Raymond as Mr Cushions. <laughs> oh, lovely. You have a good day with Granny Murray. <laughs> OK, I'll see you later. Come on, Flower Bye. Bye-bye. Now, remember, sometimes you just need to stop and listen. Thank you, Granny Murray. I'll see you later. Bye-bye, my darling. We'll be thinking of you. Me too. <laughs> Will you keep a wee eye on Tina and make sure she goes the right way to work? I'd better hurry. Could you tell me the fastest way for me to get to work? Thank you. I'm in, 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 in a hurry. I need, need, need to speak to work. I'll take a, take a ticket on the subway. I'll be, 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 be there quite quick. Hurry, hurry, hurry through the tunnels. Oh, clatter, clatter, clatter underground. Whining, whining, whining drives the speed up. Squeaking, squeaking, squeaking slows us down. Clatter, clatter, clatter under streets. Now squeaking, squeaking to our stop. I'm in, 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 I'm in a hurry. I need to speed to work. Phew. Well, what now? Of course! I have to get ready for work! <laughs> All dressed and ready to go! Wait! Oh, hello, Mickey John. Is everything OK? Did Raymond tell you I was coming here at three o'clock to film a video for the nursery school children? Oh, yes, but... Can you show me the costume that Raymond wears as Mr Cushion? Well, if you say so. <laughs> I need to see it for framing, background, lighting, that sort of thing. There you go. One Mr Cushion costume. Mm, interesting. Now, where shall we film this video? Where do you think Mr Cushion would look most fabby as he performs for the nation? 
Any ideas? Listen, mate. You can shoot it wherever you like. I'm off now. I'm late for work. I've got it! We'll film it in your taxi and we'll call it Mr Cushion Catches a Cab. But hold on, hold on. Now remember, you have to be back here before three o'clock for rehearsals. But Mickey John, it's all... Oh well, at least I'll get to spend some time with my Raymond. Or should I say, my Mr Cushion. I wonder how my little Cushion's doing. A perfect sandcastle. Oh, now it's got a flag. <laughs> Good girl. Right, I think I'll get a wee seat. Here we are. Ah. Oh. oh no! Oh, Lisa, we'll have to build another one. And there was me telling your mum she wasn't listening. I love you, Mummy. Well, I've got so much to do today. I'd better get down to some hard work. City roads are waiting. Oh, the traffic lights are changing. Police cars are cruising. The trucks keep on trapping and the city roads are waiting for me to take a drive in my brain. Calls up a taxi fare. Who am I going to meet? <laughs> Looking for a job in my pretty pink taxi. Oh, woo! Cruising a city in my pretty pink taxi. Yeah. Drive, drive, drive in my pretty pink taxi. Hang on time. <laughs> there you are, Tina. <laughs> Where have you been? Oh, well, Mickey John said three o'clock. Yeah, but I'm on my break from school. I don't have much time. Well, don't I even get a kiss? <laughs> Not you, Mickey John. Raymond. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, lovely. Right, I'll uh, just get the camera in focus. And action. Sons of the sea, bobbing up and down like this. No, 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 cut, cut. What was wrong with that? It needs something, something more, more, more. And more bounce. Have you directed a film before, Tina? <laughs> OK, Raymond, once more, and this time, give it a lot more bounce. Sons of the sea, bobbing up and down like this. Sailing the ocean, bobbing up and down like this. Baby builds the ships, you boys, bobbing up and down like this. But you can't beat the boys off the old brigade, bobbing up and down like this. <laughs> oh, Lisa, if only you could see your dad right now. I love to skip in River Sea Pingle, River Sea Pingle, that's for me. Oh, the river sings darling, you're slow today. Keep up, Angel. What's wrong, darling? Are you limping? Have you got something in your shoe? Right, hold that. Let's see. Oh, no, look. Your shoe's all full of sand from the sand pit. You should have told me, Angel. There you are, my darling. Your mum wouldn't want you bringing all that sand into the house. Hey, 
that a wrap. Oh, is that the film finished? Yep, all done. Thanks for lending us your taxi, Tina. Oh, and I better get off to work. Oh, <laughs> bye, love. Oh, no, the train will be leaving any moment. Oops. I better be getting back to school. Bye, Tina. Bye. Hey, watch out. <laughs> Mickey John seems in a hurry. Oh, yes. It's been all go round here. Oh, I see. Um, I was hoping you'd give me a ride to the shops. Yeah, sure. Hop in. Great. Oh. oh! Oh! What's up? Oh, I've got sore bottom. Oh, well, maybe you should see a doctor. <laughs> oh, you are a doctor. <laughs> uh, let's go. Uh, no, no, I can't go with you, Tina. Oh, I'll get to the shops by myself. Uh, do you know what? You should get this taxi seen to. It's not fit to ride in. Oh! Well, she's gone. What's going on? I've had a very, very busy day, and then one minute Dr. Juno wants to lift, and the next she didn't. Well, what have I done wrong? Where did the time go? At eight o'clock, I dropped Lisa at Granny Murray's, and the children dressed Claude as Mr. Cushion, one of the characters that Raymond performs. I told her that Raymond and I were so busy with our work and our shows that we hardly ever saw each other. At nine o'clock, I got to the garage, ready for work. Mickey John came round to get ready to make a video of Raymond dressed as Mr Cushion. Mickey John said he wanted to make the video in the back of my taxi. From ten o'clock until two o'clock, I was busy working in my taxi. At three o'clock, I got back to the garage, ready to help Mickey John make his video of Mr Cushion. Raymond put on the costume and then bobbed up and down in the back of my taxi singing a song. Mickey John made him do it again. Raymond was bouncing on the back seat like crazy. At four o'clock they rushed off and Dr Juno asked me to drive her to the shops. But when she got in the back seat, she said her bottom was sore and she jumped straight back out. She didn't want to lift in my taxi after all. Why not? Now remember... Sometimes you just need to stop and listen. Sometimes you just need to stop and listen. Well, maybe I should have listened to what Dr Juno was telling me. Now, what was it she said again? Your taxi's not fit to ride in. <gasps> no wonder Dr Juno hurt her bottom. The springs are all sticking out of the seat. It must have happened while Raymond was bouncing up and down. I'll have to get that back seat fixed. It's a race against time. I've got to do it, I've got to do it. I've got to beat the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it, I've got to sort it. I've got to do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that bong. I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song. Do we think she's going to do it? Do the job that needs to be done. I'm going to do it. I'm going to beat the clock before the time. I'm going to start it. I'm going to do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that bong. I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song. Oh! Oh, Dr. Juno! Oh, let me give you a lift home with all your shopping. Well, I don't want a sore bottom again. Oh, don't worry. I listened to what you said and I fixed the seat. Look! <clears throat> no more spring sticking through and I put cushions to sit on for extra comfort. Nothing's too good for my customers. Oh, yes. The seat does look pretty comfy, I must say. Well, hop in. Let's ride down the house. I can't wait to show my new comfy bike seat to Lisa. I thought that would get your attention. Come on, my darling, eat your tea. Mum's coming to pick you up soon. Tina! <laughs> Come away in. 
Get your mum's here, Lisa. Oh, hello, Lisa. Oh, you going to say thank you to Granny Money? <laughs> thank you. Oh, come here, doing squeezy cuddle. <laughs> oh, and thanks from me too, Granny Murray. I remembered what you said. Sometimes you just need to stop and listen. It saved the day. Oh, I'm pleased. Right, come on, you two. Let's get you home. <laughs> come on, Lisa. <laughs> bye bye, my darlings. Looking forward to next time. Ah, oh, me too. <laughs> Come on, Lisa. Should we go and talk about our time away? Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got Carrie and we've got Maria. But don't just sit there, puppets. Come on, let's have some fun. What else do we have, girls? Oh, come on. No, too big. <laughs> Put it on your blanket. Well, we've got Carrie and we've got Maria. But someone's missing from home today. Oh, not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? Oh, it's Rebecca with Mickey John. Hello, Mickey John. Wow, what's going on here? <laughs> We're going to a party later and we've been dressing up. Oh, I can hardly recognise you. You look so different. <laughs> oh, why don't you dress Claude up as a fairy? <laughs> Come on then and we'll flutter over here. <laughs> oh, Mickey oh, John! <laughs> you keep me a fright. I'm having a spooky party in my class at school and we're dressing up too. <laughs> we're going to a party later as well. Are you dressing up? Well, of course. What are you going as? It's a secret. I don't want the children to find out. My lips are sealed. <laughs> All right then. <laughs> I've got a fun fur coat here. Very nice. <laughs> oh. oh, Mickey John, use your imagination. I'm a bear. Oh, oh, help! <laughs> shh, 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 shh. Sorry. Well, you look at Claude. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Claude, you look magical. <laughs> well done, you guys. That's for you. Oh, what's this? Oh, that looks really spooky. Ooh. <laughs> Thanks, Rebecca. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, then. Now remember, use your imagination. Thank you, Granny Murray. I'll see you later. Bye-bye, my darling. We'll be thinking of you. Me too. You keep a wee eye on Mickey John. Make sure he goes the right way to work. I'm on my way to work today. Walking my shoes through the city views. Stepping along. Swinging my arms, singing my way through the city's charms. Getting there is just so fine. I so enjoy my walking time. I always go the way I know. Can you show me the way I go? Okay, which way? Do I go left now? Do I go right? Which way is wrong now? Which way is right? Right! OK, right, to the school. I'm on my way to work today. Looking this way and that away. Hello, Ali. Hello, doors. Hello, steeple. Hello, walls. Hello, people. Do I go up now? Do I go down? Which way's a smile now? Which way's a frown? Ah! OK, that way. Up! You told me the way to go. Thank you. 
You showed me the way I know. You know, I'm. Now what? Thanks. I need to put my tie on. All snazzy and ready to go. I'll just get myself sorted out before the bell goes. Hi, Mickey John. Hello, you. Spooky woo. <laughs> I just popped in to let you know I'll be along later for the spooky party. Oh, great. Have you got a costume? Yeah, I've got a great costume. I'm coming as Count Spatula. Oh, spooky kaluki. I can't wait to see it. I'm really looking forward to it. Me too. Yeah, see you later. Bye. <laughs> I wonder how my Rebecca's getting on. I love to skip in River Seeping, River Seeping, go by the sea. I love to skip in River Seeping, go River Seeping, go that's for me. Bye-bye, the Rebecca. Oh, have a lovely day. <laughs> oh, I wish I could be a flag in the wall and see Rebecca at nursery. Sometimes, then, take the face away. That's it. Take it down so I can see. Good. Are you working hard, Daddy? Sit down quietly now. Morning. <laughs> Hello. You're settled. Lovely. I think we should start the day with our woo times table. Are you ready? Yeah. One times two woo. Woo is two. Two times two woo. Woo is four. Three times two woo. Woo is six. Four times two woo. Woo is eight. Five times two woo. Woo is ten. Six times two woo. Woo is twelve. Seven times two woo. Woo is fourteen. Eight times two, woo! woo. Is 16. Nine times two, woo! woo is 18. Ten times two, woo! woo is 20. Ah, well done, everyone. That was brilliant. Right, time to get on with some hard work. Oh, oh, oh. With joy when I go to school in the morning, teaching with my chums and see the children learning. School day, work away. I'm learning, learning, learning when I teach it. Teaching, learning, teaching, learning, teaching. School day, work away. Teaching to count and teaching to read. Learn about birds and plants and seeds. Playing games and sports outdoors. Blowing my whistle and keeping a score. I'm learning, learning, learning when I'm teaching. Secretary smiling now she does her organizing. The Johnny fixes, the cookie mixes, and the cleaner keeps us shining. Oh, what a joy when I go to school in the morning. Holding the line in the dinner queue while the cookie cooks and serves the stew. Answering the questions where and why. How does it work and how does it play? I'm learning, learning, learning when I'm teaching. Children peep and eye me as they sit and try their writing. I take a look, I mark their books, the good ones get a smiley. Oh, I want to enjoy when I go to school in the morning. Cookie time. And woo hoo hoo to you. Oh, woo. It is I, Count Spatula. Woo ha 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 ha. Woo? It's me, Raymond, you fool. Oh, Raymond. You look great. Thanks. So where's the party going to be? Here. Oh, well, I hope you're going to get the place looking really spooky. Oh, of course. I'm going to get some pumpkins from Rudy's stall. Oh, good idea. Well, you best be quick because there's a bit of a rush on for pumpkins and I'm in a bit of a rush myself. See you later. Ooh. Right, well, I'd better get off to the market. I wonder how Rebecca's getting on at her party. Oh, right, this time, this time. 
I got you. I'm thinking of you, Daddy. See you later. Come on, folks, get yourself a bunch of bananas for just Hi, about. Rudy. Oh, hello, Mickey John. How are you doing? Oh, great, thanks. I'm in a bit of a hurry, though. Getting ready for the spooky party. <laughs> oh, I won't keep you, then. What can I get for you? A dozen pa Potatoes? Oh, we've got some lovely potatoes in. How many was it? Uh, none, thanks, Rudy. Just some... Plums? Oh, my favourite. We've got some lovely Victoria plums in. Was it one pullet or two? None. None? Are you sure? They're very nice. I don't want any plums. I just want pumpkins. Pumpkins? Well, why didn't you say so, man? A dozen pumpkins, please. <gasps> Got no pumpkins. Sorry, Mickey John. I've just sold the last one. Oh, no. Sold out? I've been working hard getting ready for the spooky party, and I haven't got the one thing to make the party really spooky. A pumpkin. Where did the time go? At seven o'clock, I dropped off Rebecca at Granny Murray's. The children were busy finding costumes for the party at the nursery. We had a bit of spooky fun, and the children dressed clawed up as a fairy. At eight o'clock, Raymond came to visit me. He was in a spooky mood. Later on, the children and I had some spooky fun learning the times table. At twelve o'clock, I was starting to decorate the classroom when I had another visit from Raymond. This time, as Count Spatula. Ooh. He told me I needed to get a move on if I was going to get any pumpkins from the market. At one o'clock, I arrived at the market. I wanted to buy a dozen pumpkins for my spooky party. But Rudy had sold out. Now remember, use your imagination. Use my imagination? Mm -hmm. Ah. Well, I suppose I could imagine that this looks a bit like a pumpkin. <laughs> you found something you want there, Mickey John? Yes. A dozen of your best turnips, please. <laughs> Twelve turnips coming up. Right. Let's get the classroom looking really spooky. It's a race against time! I gotta do it, I gotta do it I gotta beat the clock before the chime I gotta sort it, I gotta sort it I gotta do the job on time Like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bong I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song Do we think he's gonna do it? Do the job that needs to be done Will we know how to fix it? Will he finish what he has begun? I'm gonna beat the clock before the chime. I'm gonna sort it. He's gonna start it. I'm gonna do the job on time. I like a busy bee. I'm gonna beat that bomb. I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song. Almost ready to party. Just gotta put my costume on. Ooh, I'm time man. <laughs> Oh, look at you lot. Come on in, come on in. <laughs> come on, sit yourselves down. Whoa! <laughs> Hello. Hello. Oh, this place looks great. Really spooky. <laughs> oh, thanks, Raymond. Uh, I mean, uh, Count Spatula. <laughs> and who are you? Oh, I'm, uh, Thai Man. Ooh. <laughs> ah, cool. <laughs> hey. OK, now. Listen up. There once was an old, old house. And in the old, old house, there was an old, old room. And in the old, old room, there was an old, old clock. And next to the old clock sat an old man. And in the old man's lap, there was an old cat. And under the chair hobbled an old mouse. In the old, old house. Then suddenly, the old man sat up and they all had a party! Hey! hey. hey. Come on, get up, bunch of you! <laughs> Come on, over here, there's more room! Come on, over here, over here! Come on, let's see what you can do. I know you can dance. Over here. I hope you're having as much fun as we are, Rebecca. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> Nearly. <laughs> oh, Rebecca, your daddy would laugh if he could see us now, wouldn't he? I miss your daddy. Look who's here, Rebecca. Hello, beautiful girl. Hey, how are you, my friend? Have you had a lovely time? Yes. Oh, you oh. bet we have, eh? Say thank you to Granny Murray. Come here, my darling. Oh, good girl. And thanks from me too, Granny Murray. You're saying, use your imagination, save the day. Well, I never did. Come on now, you'd better be off, eh? Looking forward to next time. Me too. Come on, Rebecca. Let's chat about our time away. And I suppose you want me to tell you all about my time too? Well, there was waving, greeting, hello, meeting, bye bye, closing, quaking, dozing, eating, sleeping, fetching, sketching, painting, stretching, gluing, chewing, sticking up and wiping round, washing up and slushing down. Then there was hugging, squishing, walking, pushing, dancing, dusting, shooting, choosing, talking, cooking, grinding, cleaning, saving, cleaning, loving, joking, losing things and rushing round. really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed as a fairy because we were all finding costumes for a spooky party. <laughs> Mickey John arrived with Rebecca and we had some spooky fun. <laughs> Later on, Rebecca got dressed up in her fancy dress costume and then at our party, I put on my bear costume and then the children had great fun running away from the big bear. Then we played apple catching. We all discovered how hard it is to eat an apple without using your hands. Mickey John used his imagination and had a spooky time at his party at the school. I hope you enjoyed yourself. <laughs> Me too. Bye bye, honey pie.